and the right anatomical, so it's going to be upper is above the belly button on this side right here. So you just point to it, okay? Go ahead. Right lower quadrant. Okay, right lower is below the belly button right here. Left upper quadrant. Left just on the other side right here above left, the belly button. Left lower quadrant. Right here. And he's only going to ask you one, and the patient <coughs> opposite you'll get one of them, either left or right. Okay. Supra-sternal notch. Okay, supra-sternal notch is this right here at your sternum, that notch right here. Okay? Sternum. The sternum is anywhere right here. Just point to it and just tell them that's your sternum. Sternal angle. Okay, sternal angle. You're going to start at the top where the notch is, and you're going to go to where that little hump is on your sternum, and that's your sternum angle. Oh, close. And on the day when you do it tomorrow, I guess you guys can wear polos, right? So... Okay. Xiphoid process. Okay, xiphoid. You're going to start, tell them you're going to start at the sternum, and you're just going to go to the bottom of the sternum until you fall off. So it'd be like so okay. yeah, it's mastoid very process. Bottom. Mastoid process. You turn your patient, you show them, you say, it's right behind the ear here. It's your mastoid process. A chromium process. Okay, your chromium process comes off your scapula. So if you know that and you want to tell them, it's going to come up here. Your, your clavicle is going to join in that joint because that's what you asked for. Chromium, did you ask for yeah. chromium process? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's just the pro, you know, off your scapula is a process, okay? Clavicle? Clavicle, turn the patient around. It's going to be this bone that, that comes across here is your clavicle. Mid clavicular line. Okay, the way you find that is you find your clavicle and you just tell them the middle of the clavicle and your line that goes straight down from your clavicle. Border of scapula. Okay, turn your patient around. I'll just turn it toward them. You're going to tell them to squeeze. Your border is the border of your scapula. Okay, and there's one on each side. That's your medial border of your scapula. Okay? All vertebra from C1 to L5. Okay, keep your patient this way. Your two reference points for your vertebrae is going to be C7, which is your bone right up here by your neck, okay? And your L4 is at your waistline. So what he's going to do is he's going to ask you for maybe T6, so, or we'll just say T2. So what I would do is I'd start from C7, and I would go, I'd go T1, T2. If he asked for T12, I would start at L4, and I would go up L5, T12. And you have to t physically count the numbers and tell him, okay? So that's how he's going to ask you. Just remember you have five, you have seven cervical, you have 12 thoracic, and you have five lumbar. Sacrum. Okay, sacrum, you're just going to start at L4 again. You're going to count down L3, L2, L1, and then when you fall off, that's your sacrum. Okay. Electron process. Okay, electron process. Basically, that's... Your elbow. Uh, oh, electron, right. It's going to be, you're going to tell your patient, flex your arm, and that's your, your elbow right here, okay? Um, and as a patient, sorry, as a patient, don't start moving the arm to give him, you know, help. Just be dead, you know, be numb or whatever, because he'll see that. And if you start, you know, or you, you might do it by accident, but just hopefully you just stand there and let them do all the movements. Okay. Electronon process. Yeah, you're gonna take your arm, bend it, flex it, and that's your elbow. Okay. Medial epicondyle of humerus. Okay, medial epicondyle of humerus. Okay, so we're dealing with the humerus, which is the arm. Medial would be in the inside right here, that bone right there. And if you, if you ask for lateral, it will be on the right side of it, okay? I'll just show you both at the same time. Medial epicondyle of femur. Okay, medial of femur, so we're going here. It's going to be your knee joint, your knee bone right here, and your lateral is going to be on the other side of your, of your knee, okay? Medial malleolus. Okay, you're going to go down. Go, you're going to go down to the bone here. I'll just show you on mine. And it's medial and lateral right here. Okay? Iliac crest. Okay, iliac crest. You're going to go turn your patient and just going to say it's on the waistline right here is your crest right here on your waist. Anterior superior iliac spine. Okay, to find that, put your hands here on the waist and it's going to be the very front of the iliac crest. That's going to be your anterior superior iliac spine. Okay? And then posterior, you're going to put your thumbs and it's usually right where there's a dimple right here. In the back, and you turn around, right, right back here in the thumbs. Okay. No, you no know, dumbbell. Patella. <laughs> huh? Patella. Patella is going to be your knee. Cap. 
right here. Greater trochanter. Okay, greater trochanter. It's going to be turn your patient around. Right about on the side here where your pocket, there's a little bone. If you just move your leg like this, you'll feel it move, and that's your greater trochanter. It's just a raised part on the femur. Calcaneus. Calcaneus is your heel. So you turn them around, you can just show the heel right here. It's got the wrist. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. So I'm just show. <laughs> drunk already. Thyroid cartilage. Okay, that's going to be your Adam's apple. Subclavicular fossa. Okay, subclavicular fossa. Supraclavicular fossa. Su oh, okay, super, we got right here. So basically, fossa is going to be in between. Just going to show you this hole right here between your trap and your, and your clavicle. That hole right there. Axilla. Axilla is going to be your armpit. So you raise it up, armpit. Just do that. I'm going to use my shoulder. Nuchal ligament. Okay. Turn your patient around. Bend your head down. And this ligament right here on the neck. Thenar eminent. Okay. Thenar, turn your patient around. Turn your hand over. It's going to be the fleshy part right here by the thumb side. Right. Hypothenar eminent. That's going to be on the opposite side, your pinky side, and that fleshy part right here on your hand. Cubital fossa. Okay, cubital fossa is going to be right here on the opposite side of your elbow here. Popliteal fossa. Okay, turn your patient around. It's going to be behind the knee. This area right here. Um, biceps femoris tendon. Okay, turn your patient. It's going to be it's going to be this tendon on your lateral side. I'll just show you on mine. It's this tendon right here okay. on your hamstring side. It's the tendon on your on your lateral side. Semi tendinosus. Okay, that's going to be in the medial side, right here. The tendon right here in the medial side, by behind the knee. Sternocleidomastoid. Okay, sternocleidomastoid is your SCM. You're going to turn the patient. Tell them to twist his head to the left, and this area right here is your SCM. Pectoralis major. Okay, that's just your pec, <laughs> chest. Rhomboidus. <laughs> um, okay, rhomboid. Turn them around. Your rhomboidus, it, it comes off right here. Your minor is going to be here, and your major is going to be right below it. Okay, so it's, so your vertebrae is here, minor and major. Major's wider, minor is about this big, major is about three inches. Okay? Sits muscle. Sits, okay. We'll start here. The first, you got your supra is spinatus is going to be like right here. And then right below it is going to be your infra spinatus. Okay, turn around. Yeah. Supra, infra, then you have your um, tears minor that goes down, and then deep under the arm is going to be your a sub. Okay? So so if you just remember, sub in order, S I T. S. Okay. Deltoid. Deltoid, just your shoulder. Biceps brachii. Okay, just your bicep. Tricep. Tricep antagonist right here. Okay. Upper trapezius. Okay, just your traps right here. Just squeeze massage and show the traps. Your massage muscle. Brachioradialis. Okay, great. You're going to turn the patient, the thumb up, oh, and it's this muscle, muscle right across here. It's your drinking muscle. Drinking muscle. Rectus abdominis. Okay, right, just sit down. That's your big six pack. That's your six pack. <laughs> your you six get muscles right muscles. here. Yeah. <laughs> get the cake. <laughs> so, right, just say them right here, your six pack. Quadriceps femoris. Okay, quad is just your thigh. No, no, just major thigh. You have actually three yeah. three muscles, but he just wants to know the thigh. Gastrodemia. Okay, your calf. So you turn around. Is your calf right here? Achilles, calcaneal. Okay, Achilles. I'm going to show you right here. It's right here above your calcaneus. That's your Achilles. Tibialis anterior. Thank you. Tibialis, I'll show you on mine. It starts here and it goes across your shin. It's that muscle that goes across your shin. Right. Okay, joint. Sternoclavicular joint. Okay, sternoclavicular joint. That's going to be, you have two of them. Right where your notch is, these two bones right here are your, are your, uh, are your uh, joints. Okay. Acromioclavicular. Okay, you have your acromion process, your clavicle, and they're going to join right here. And that, so if you just point to right here at the almost the end of your shoulder, that's where the joint is. Glenohumeral. 
glenohumeral, that's going to be your ball and socket. So you just point to your shoulder and you say ball and socket. Humeral ulnar. Humeral ulnar. Okay, we're dealing with this. So you basically is humeral ulnar. You got your ulnar side on your pinky and your humerus. So it's the joint right here on the side. Okay, which was your medial um, before your medial yeah. epicondyle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same, but it's a joint. They call it joint too. Okay. Metacarpophalangeal. Okay. You're dealing with, take your patient, you got your knuckles, okay, and they always start, and he's going to ask you for a number, so you got one, and the, you got one, two, three, four, five, so if he asks for three, just tell him this one right here, you point to a knuckle. Mm -hmm. Coxal, <coughs> it's going to be in your groin area, there's a, there's an area, if you twist your leg, you'll feel it move, but it just say in the groin and point to that area. Tibiofemoral. Okay, tibiofemoral. Dealing with this, it's just going to be your knee joint. So it's your hinge, so if you flex, it's your knee joint. Tibio fibula. Okay. You have your tibia fibula, so it's that bone right there. <coughs> so that's where the, jo the, the joint is right there. Okay. Talocural tibio talar ankle mortis. Basically, that's right here is your joint right here. Ankle. And your ankle, it's on the top side. Okay. Temporomandibular. Okay, that's your TMJ. That's your jaw right here. And so you'll feel it when you move your jaw, it pops. That's your TMJ. That's it. That's it. Woo.